Today, I'm taking you through my journey from what's wrong with you to best decision ever, which basically means the five things I've learned while I was switching career. So here you can see a picture from my first year in my career, and this one is this year. Uh, so I started my career as a marketing manager working on the business side, but after five years, I decided to go to what I thought was the fun side of the force and decided to become a creative. Uh, and when I told that to my mom, her first reaction was just saying, what's wrong with you? You're throwing away your career. But after a while, seeing that I was doing okay, was driving a lot happier home to, to work, she now says just best decision ever. And I feel the same way. I truly believe was like one of the best decisions I've done. I'm so much happier. I feel a lot more fulfillment on what I do today versus what I used to do. Uh, so that's why I encourage everyone that feels like you're not where you want to be, you feel you could be doing something different, to at least try and see if that's, that's the other things that you identify more and maybe you're happier. But of course, it's not easy, right? So that's why I want to share with you guys what I've learned in the process using some cheesy catchphrases. So first, it's always better to regret than to wonder. So let's say I did my career change, but it was a complete failure. Maybe I was not good enough. Uh, maybe I don't like advertising. Maybe it could be completely different than what I expected. Of course, that there will be some pain, but that pain is temporary because eventually you heal, you just get over it and you get back to what you're doing. But for me, the pain that is not temporary, that stays with you forever, in my opinion, is when you feel you don't even try it, when you're just wondering what could have happened. That's something that for me, when I did that, stuff that haunts me forever until, okay, let me just try that. So that's why I recommend it's better to always try and if it fails, just you regret that than just wondering and being frustrated about that. Second, perfect time equals the day that never come. So I feel there's like this mythical, legendary place uh, called the right time, the right place. And the truth is, for me, that place doesn't exist. That's some, most of the times it's just an excuse that people get like to procrastinate or not start doing change. Uh, because let's think about it. Maybe you don't, do, don't make a lot of money, so now it's not the right time. Then you're making a lot of money, like, oh, I should stay here because I want to make a little more money, I'm uncomfortable. Sometimes you're too young, then you're too old. Uh, so I truly believe, I'm not saying just like throw everything away and just start your career change out of sudden. Of course, you need to plan, but you need to do the first step. You need to have the courage to start, even if it doesn't feel the right time, because the right time never comes, at least in my opinion. Uh, and then you're never what happens to you, but what do you choose to become? So when I decided to change my career, uh, it took me a year to land my first full-time job, and then I was fired in three months. And then I landed another job, and I was fired again in three months. And at that time, I was like, oh my God, I suck at this job. I'm never going to really find my place there. Uh, but of course, frustrated for a bit. But then I started to learn out of these failures, trying to understand what was wrong. And I truly believe that made me a better creative and helped me to be at the place that I am now. That is what I was envisioning when I decided five years ago to change my career. Then nothing's lost, everything's transformed. Of course, this comes from chemistry. But basically, when I told my parents, okay, I'm changing my career, their biggest fear was like, okay, so you're throwing away everything you built when you're academic and professional life. Everything you learn in business school, you're not gonna use that. Everything that you did as a marketeer, probably not using. And it was quite the opposite, actually. For me, I believe knowing about business, knowing about finance, knowing about marketing actually helps me being a, a unique creative and actually bringing a different point of view that most creatives don't have. So for example, I know how a client analyzes stuff when I'm creating for a bank, I know what, what each of the finance terms means. So it just brings something for you. So you're not throwing away anything. You're just using it in a different way. And lastly, networking is nothing. True connections are everything. And I know it can be kind of similar if you think like networking, connections. But the truth is, when I told my colleagues at PNG, where I used to work as a marketeer, oh, I'm going to the agency side, they were just telling me, oh, so you're probably going to get a job quick, basically because you, have, you work five years as a client, have a lot of connections to the agencies. And that's really not what happened. <laughs> basically, because most of those connections were built under a business reason, right? So it was like, oh, so you're a client, I'm an agency. So that's why we would exchange emails outside of work, because there was a business reason. All of a sudden, I was not a client. There was no reason for them to care about me. So the people who truly helped me 
was, of course, the people that I knew during work, but those people that I legitimately have a deeper connection. So people that I would go out for a beer for no specific reason, no business reason, I would call them just to see if they were okay, not because I wanted to close a new deal. So that's what I, what I truly believe. Uh, rather than just giving your, um, your business card to everyone on a business conference or like just adding everyone on LinkedIn, I think you could definitely find people that you truly uh, resonate with, people that you connect and you're truly interested. First, because these are the people that will be with you anytime. And second, because these are the people that you want to be with. Uh, and with that, I finished my five lessons. Hope you guys enjoyed. Here's my content. Feel, feel free to reach out and enjoy the rest of the event. Thanks, guys.